Understanding the Image of the Shroud of Turin, an exhibition at St. Stephen Protomartyr Ukrainian Catholic Church in Calgary, 2014. The Shroud of Turin is believed by millions across the world and across history to be the burial shroud of Jesus Christ. This cloth lay wrapped around him as he was buried in the tomb by Joseph of Arimathea. How exactly the image came onto the cloth is unknown, but the cloth would have been wrapped around his body, and we believe that by contact, blood would have come from the body onto the cloth. The image, which is burnt into the fibers of the cloth itself, even scientists today cannot reproduce. He was buried with a clean linen shroud according to Jewish customs. This allows for the cloth to bear two images of Christ, one of his front and one of his back, each coming in contact with his body. The most noticeable marks on the cloth are burn marks along two seams of the folded cloth. The cloth was in two separate fires and singed several parts of the cloth, causing triangular holes in many places. These dark lines, which were highlighted, take away from the image of Christ. However, if we ignore him, we can still clearly see his body. The front image of Christ is actually a negative, as is the back. The cloth, as it came in contact with the body of Christ, creates a mirror image, or a negative. That is why what is seen is actually reversed. What is on the left is actually on the right of Christ. There is much evidence of the crucifixion, as according to the scriptures. On his forehead, we see blood coming from a crown of thorns. In his side, we see a spot pierced and blood running down from it. In his wrists, according to Roman crucifixion techniques, were the nail marks, and blood has run down from those nail wounds down to the elbows. Across the whole front of his body, there are also visible scourge marks, where the Roman soldiers beat him before the crucifixion. On one of the knees is evidence of an injury, quite possibly caused when he fell underneath the weight of the cross. On the other side of the cloth, the side that had bears the imprint from the back of his body, we also see much evidence of the crucifixion. One of this evidence is actual pieces of wood believed to be parts of the cross itself that are attached to the cloth. On his head we see more thorn marks as well as more blood that is pooled on the back of his head. From his wrists and down his elbows and then onto the small of his back blood has pooled from his nail wound. On his feet is also evidence that nails has come, have been pierced through his flesh and blood stays on his body, on his feet. All along his body there are many scourge marks. These painful wounds would have been caused by a weapon such as this. 
Also, there are images of flowers and even a coin that can be seen but not easily with the naked eye. A reading of the Gospel according to St. John. So they both ran together, and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloths lying there and the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who came to the tomb first went in also, and he saw and believed. Thank you for watching Shroud of Turin Exhibition at St. Stephen's Parish.